Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for two tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool melting effect with using real flow plugin. So firstly guys, I'm going to take a simple cube, this one, that's my foreground and now I increase size. So X size I take 2000 and Y axis like 10 and last one same 2000. Yeah, see guys that's my simple plane actually cube and go to God shading lines. Yeah, and second now I use real flow. So I go on plugin actually here and take screen and up yeah okay so guys go on here and use square this one and guys i change square shape so i go to object and red size increase like 150 150 centimeter and depth i take like 25 yes see right Okay, so play here yeah. and guys, I go on field and display guys size. I increase like five. Yeah, and increase guys take 500 frames. Yes, right. Okay, so guys select this emitter and I go to card and go to up. I take like Y axis 200. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, now I apply material for more visibility. And guys, that's my material. And white material apply on cube. Yes. Okay, so play. Yeah, great. Okay, so guys, go on cube, this one. And right click, go to real flow tag and use collider. And bounce, I take zero. And friction, I take one actually 0 0.1 yes and play yes right okay so guys now i change flirt setting so go on flirt and go to here type i use this one this one and go to back and play yes better see guys right okay so now guys i create animation so select this emitter now. I create first animation. Guys, I teach you two type of animation. So first one, go on emitter, go on here. And like here, like minus 200. Yes, right. And press this animation key. And guys, I go to 50 frame. And go on here, like zero. Yes, and press this animation key. I go to 100 and Z1, same minus 200. And press this animation key. Yeah. See, guys. Right? Okay. So, guys, now I apply also gravity. So, use gravity and take gravity yes and play yeah better right see okay so guys now i use mesh tool use mesh this one yeah and uh, guys thing zero and relax zero and guys okay so go to back and play okay so guys now i change also some setting so stop this animation and go to flirt guys resolution i take like 100 yes and density i take like 200 yeah 
go to back and play yeah better see guys right okay so now guys you can change also this thickness setting so emitter and depth you can take like 20 yes right see guys it's really good guys it's take little bit time that's my heavy mesh so select this material and apply our mesh yeah it's really shiny okay so now guys i create more keyframe so i go on emitter actually window and timeline f curve tool yes see guys that's my timeline so create more select all keyframe and holding control key and shift drag and drop like this and more and drag and drop yeah and yeah yes see guys that's my all keyframe animation right okay see now go to back and play yes better yeah see guys that's really beautiful right okay so guys now stop this animation that's my first type of animation and mash uncheck and go to back and play yes see right okay so guys my first animation is finished now i teach you second type of animation so stop and so guys go to emitter and delete all keyframe delete all yes and select this and guys why actually last one yeah guys select this emitter and right click and go to cinema 4d tag and apply vibrate attack yeah and enable position check and amplitude guys take 500 and y1 like 200 and same 500 and frequency 0 0.5 enable rotation check and guys amplitude this one take 360 yeah and frequency 0 0.6 yes and play see guys that's my second type of animation right yeah beautiful okay i show you my guys I show you my final animation. See. See guys, that's my beautiful real flow animation. And go on here and mesh, uncheck and play. Yeah. See. Right? Okay. So guys, my all animation is finished. Now show one more setting. Gravity is good. Flood. Yeah, flood setting is good. And emitter. Yes. Good. And that's my tag and mesh tool guys you can increase smoothness smoothness like two yeah that's much better result that's my really final animation right okay so guys stop this animation now i go to render setting output use all frame and save guys format i take jpeg sequences so go to desktop and create new folder like renders and take any file name and guys go to here ambient illusion and use global illumination 
and global elimination indirectly catch a i take low and anti select best that's it so close and last one guys apply sky and that's my sky material and guys i apply compositing tag and seen by camera uncheck yeah that's it okay so go on here screen and catch a click use catch a check and catch a simulation click after catch a create render so guys that's it it's my simple melting effect with using real flow plugin is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you